Here's the uh, Dillon XL650 uh, roller cam follower. Uh, all it is is a very, very simple replacement where Dillon just used a, a, a pointed cam follower at this point. I've added this, this small bearing and what that does for you is of course it, it smooths up that action. I'm not doing any relo reloading right now but it, it, it really makes quite a difference in the smoothness of which this uh, piece of equipment works. Uh, in, in addition to that we also have the uh, uh, um, bearing replacement the detent bearing replacement for oops it helps a little bit if you take that out and screw loose uh, the steel bearing coming in at about 55 grains as opposed to I don't know what's on the ad I think it's like 5 grains for the phenolic and when you get rid of the steel ball and lighten its weight with the phenolic of course you lessen the impact of the detent ball as it indexes the bottom of the shell plate and there's our phenolic um, bearing right there uh, in tuning this I remove approximately one turn one full coil turn uh, of the spring to lessen that spring tension which is the larger of the difference being made but the reduction in weight at this point is also a help. So we uh, sell those both for the uh, 650s and 1050s. Uh, but yes, the roller cam follower does help. Uh, when you tune this, you'll be able to, to notice a great difference. Your shell plate uh, will no longer come to a abrupt snap and stop, which is uh, very annoying. It throws powder all over the place, uh, ruins charges, uh, fouls up the machine, and, and uh, generally just makes you cranky and mean. And most of us are probably cranky and mean enough as it is. So uh, I have to recommend on those grounds alone that you might seriously consider this upgrade to your press. Um, so there you have it. There's your roller cam follower and your uh, phenolic uh, detent buffer ball, which is a, it's a, a super duty industrial grade phenolic bearing that's been uh, baked uh, at 500 degrees for uh, 96 hours. It's not just a chunk of plastic, but uh, uh, I believe you might be able to get away with using a fishing bead, really honestly. But uh, uh, I just wanted to make a selection of the best possible bearing that I could use so that I won't have to fool with it. So there you go. Thanks very much for your interest. Bye.